All right, welcome back in. So as mentioned before, when we did these rear floorboards, I have some additional thrash and stuff that I'm gonna put in. American made, USA made company. I have the adjustable brake lever with the pad and that I have the shift lever, the shift peg, the bagger boards that are adjustable front and rear. Uh, all comes very packaged, very nice. Uh, they protect their stuff very well, aircraft, aluminum. So great presentation with that. Um, can't wait to get them on. So I'm gonna start getting stuff situated with the camera and we'll start uh, up with the boards on this side and the pad and the brake arm and we'll get it going. All right, see you in a few minutes. All right, so I got the camera repositioned. You can see here, we're gonna work on this area, brake pedal and boards. Got everything kind of laid out. Got uh, screws and bolts ready to go. I'm gonna add some Loctite to these because I hadn't done that just yet. <clears throat> Get those going on because we don't want stuff backing out. So we'll add those on there real quick while I'm talking. So the neat thing about this brake lever is that it's adjustable. So you can set it to your preference, you know, based on your boards, the length, how you want to sit. Uh, riding position all that It's a pretty cool feature because for me I'm pretty even size about 5'11 almost six foot on a good day and I'm equal proportion leg and body so I'm like a barrel so it makes it a little interesting to find stuff and on this bike I feel like my knees are really high so I want to go a little bit more forward similar to my heritage and this gets in my way of my knees, so this is going to be coming off, and I've got a different air cleaner on another video I'm going to do on that. But the neat thing about this, and I'll see if we can see it, it's going to be probably kind of hard, but there is adjustments on this that you can set this to. So there's this little bitty dot right there that there's three dots, two dots, and one dot. One is the furthest, or the, the highest, two is the medium, and three is the lowest. So I'm gonna set that to three to the lowest and line those bolt holes back up for that and kind of prep that for me to get ready to go when I start working on stuff for that. So let me get these in. Start it in. Finger tight for the moment, make sure I'm still on my three dot. Yep, okay. Okay. And we'll take our three sixteenths hex wrench. Snug those up like that, and then I'll go ahead and tighten them down. I'm not going to be moving it again. If I am, then I'll have to take this all off again. But you know, it's fun to work on your bike, but we don't want to redo and double do work. Okay, so now those are set. Go in there and be ready to go for a lot of that. Clean up this a little bit. Okay. All right. The way this will go in there is similar to the connection that's in there. This sits in here, and that adjustment is either like so or like so, depending on how it goes in. So we're going to take this board off, and then there's a cotter key back, cotter key back there that's going to be fun to get out but I wanted to kind of get that ready to go. And then there's some shims we're gonna take out of this one and put inside of here or in here and get that to go back on there. All right, so I'm gonna set those over to the side. Same 3 16ths on here with a 17 16ths, uh, 7 16ths nut on the back side. So stick that on there, back this thing out.
Okay. So that's out of there. So the next thing we got to do is release that cotter pin and it's kind of back in here. Not sure if I can get a good camera angle on it. There's my flashlight. Take a look. Kind of a hard shot to see. Yeah, so if you can see the light where it's shining, it's right back there. So I'm going to have to get needle nose in there and try to pin that thing up so we can pull it back out and then release that uh, lower level right there. Probably unbolt the pedal and take that off too. All right, so let me fiddle around with that for a minute and then I'll come back in and show you what it looks like. All right. All right, well, that was not fun. I don't want to bore you guys with the details of trying to get this little sucker out, but it took a combination of a pick tool, needle nose, flathead screwdriver, a flashlight, and a lot of swearing uh, to get it to come out. But I finally got it to come out and I was able to do it without marring up anything back here. So that's good. So yay me. All right, so now we'll do, I already took the 5 8 bolt off of here and I'm gonna take this washer off, put it there right next to it. And then we'll rotate this guy back to where we can try to get this out. All right, I'll set this over here. And I'll tighten that back up once I figure out how the rest of it goes. Okay. So we got that out. That's off. Take a look at the pedal. I believe there's these little inserts that go in there that we got to get out. And from what I read and heard, this 5.8 socket works great on pushing these out. There's an O-ring. Should we take that out? And then we'll just put this on the edge of something here and tap these, tap those inner pieces out. So let me get those out and I'll be right back. Okay, well, that was fun. So got that out, pulled this off, got this going, I punched out the bushings, put them inside of here. We'll go ahead and slide this back on here. Slide it back. Make sure it falls in the hole right there. So we can see that's on. And then we're going to put our cotter pin bolt back through there and through the plunger hole so that it's Pinning that in there. Like that. There. Now we got it trapped. So that'll hold that on. It's not going to go nowhere. Good old grease all over everything and try to wipe it off. All right, so now comes the fun of trying to get this damn cotter pin back in there. So whoever put this thing on in the factory, kudos to you. They made sure that it was not easy to get to it and get it out. But of course, I'm sure they probably put it in when nothing was on it, which we are not so fortunate. 
let's see how I've seen other people have pretty easy success with this in the videos let's see how my day goes All right, well, that was not fun at all, but I eventually got it. <clears throat> so now I've got it in there in place. It's locked in, wiped everything down. I'll go ahead and bolt back on this bolt. Got the O-ring in there using the existing washer. That's on there good. And I've trapped that, so there's nothing it's going to do until it's ready to push the actuator through, actuator through and do all that. Let's see how that goes. This will bolt back on here. So we get the board on. What's going on? Make sure that's not too tight. That's not okay. All right, so that's on there. So now we have the boards we're gonna put on. So I go like so. Now, we will mount our brake arm. Now the interesting part about this is when I took it off, it lets you spin around to see all the different holes. So I know it's in the forwardmost position. So I'm gonna spin this until I see the first set of bolts which is right there, which is the forwardmost position on that. And then we'll pop those bad boys in. Like that. Nice thing about this, covers up that big old bolt which is one of the things they talk about, which I think is awesome. You don't see that, so that's good. All right, so that looks nice and low. Brake pedal should be nice, a nice adjusted spot right there. Go in and tighten these up. Get them all spun down first. Okay, so now we'll snug them down. You can see the actuator moving as I do that, which is good. It's good. Do a check. <clears throat> nothing's in the way, nothing's binding, works like it's supposed to. So now we can look at putting on our new slim brake pedal that I purchased, which I'm very excited about. So we'll take this, drop it through there. This looks to 
be, I want the flat side, I'm guessing. Flat side against the pedal. All right, so I got the 5 16 T handle because apparently that other one's not going to work. So stick this in, get it all spun in. All right, now. I'm gonna guess where about I think I want my pedal. I'll adjust it later once I'm there, but clearly much better on uh, angle and height. Oops. You push it down, test it. Works good. Doesn't hit anything. That looks good. And that's this side. This one's a little more complicated because we had the brake pedal, but uh, I have it at the lowest setting. If it was to be higher, then, you know, it'd probably be like up here. I don't think I could go any lower with it. It would not be functional and clear, clearing. So if you take a look at what it was initially. You can see there's a big difference. Looking at how that's angled in the pin, there's a huge difference on the height. So, whole reason why we do it. Much, much better there. All right, we'll go around to the other side and get this other board on that side, and then uh, that'll be it. Be right back. All right, so now we got it back on the other side here. Uh, this time I went ahead and just did the prep work real fast on getting these ready to go just to speed up the turmoil of you guys watching me screw stuff in. So we're going to do the same thing we did on that side. So now that one's on, nice and easy. Okay, and since I'm here, I also have the Shrashen shift lever and peg, so why not? Let's take this out and match everything up all the way across the board. Great products, American made. Bunch of cool people from what I've seen. One day maybe I'll go visit them, go out and have some of that food that they always seem to go like to get. Um, looks like it'd be a lot of fun. All right, so we just pull this guy off, kind of get an idea where it's at, right? The easier to adjust when you're done because you're kind of close and you don't have to do your linkage, but since I did my linkage already previously, then I don't have to worry about that, right? So this guy doesn't want to go past it, so take this out to help it. There we go. And just shove it back in. It's got a nylon nut on the bottom, help hold it in place, which is cool. Um, much better than just having something sticking out there. All right, let me make sure I got it where I want it. Tighten that up. All right, so 
Looks all sexy. Matches nice. And then we have the shift peg. So I'm gonna put a little Loctite on the tip of that bad boy. Good practice. And this one, I believe, is 12.38. So I'll stick this in there. Get going. Work it all in. Just for fun, because I'm a branding kind of guy when it's good quality stuff. I'm going to put thrashing supply right here on the top where it shows USA right in front of it. All right. There we go. So that's on there. Looks much better. You can see the, the difference between the long and the short, right? So big difference there. These nice longer boards in the forward position. My leg angle here for my riding position will be a lot better. And if not, I can adjust it, which is the awesome thing about them. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a rough ride, but that's the intent to be able to see what it takes for an average guy like me to be able to install this kind of stuff. Hopefully it was helpful for you and uh, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. More stuff to come as I continue to do my updates on this bike. And uh, we'll see you guys then.